Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one furry boy. Never back at you again. Feeling pretty good this week. Hope you're feeling the same. Uh, happy Spooktober or Demonetized Ween as we call it around here. Uh, and yes, you are watching The Never Show, the only show with lemon scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. And yes, you could get what it implanted, but we don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get started, I'd like to thank you all for being my YouTube friends. I know I say this every week, and I truly do mean it. Thank you for being there for me. And because you hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon, because it's part of the YouTube experience, and you wanted to, me to be a part of that experience, thank you. Yay! And you came here for a movie review. You didn't care to come here to listen to me talk about stuff. So let's get into it, shall we? Today's movie is Joker. It is a rated R film. It's two hours and two minutes, which is kind of funny <laughs> in its own right that it's so perfectly two hours and two minutes. It is a crime drama thriller that does not let down at all. And I even got a few laughs in. It is from Todd Phillips, the guy who did um, the Hangover movies and War Dogs, which I really liked. I enjoyed that movie a lot. It's so one of my one of the few movies, uh, well, along with his co-writer S Scott Silver, who did Eight Mile, and I have fond memories of Eight Mile rattling around in my head, and I guess that's something that I enjoyed. Uh, it stars Joaquin Phoenix, the man who spells his name with a J, uh, Robert De Niro. I like him as an actor, not as a geopolitical whatever he does off screen, and Zazal Beats. Always beautiful, and I loved her in Deadpool too, and I loved her here. Hi. Production companies were Bronze Studios, Creative Wealth Media Finance, DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Jolt, Joint Effort, Village Roadshow Pictures, and Warner Brothers. Also, our distributor here in the good old United States of America, God bless America, land that I love, was Warner Brothers. Hi. Our special effects companies were Scanline VFX, Shade VFX. The Third Floor, Prosthetic Renaissance, and Captured Dimensions. And my thoughts on the film. Uh, Joker is a gritty, beautiful film. It questions the lines of reality, and it crosses back and forth from one reality to the next. It is Joker telling us his story, the glossy, dust-jacketed, library book version of his story through his eyes. And I love what they're doing here. It somewhere falls between Metallica through the never and adrift for me because it questions what is real and what is not. It really does. And as someone who has issues, and let's just leave it at that, I kind of did see the uh, stitches on the on this curveball, so to speak, and knew what was going to happen. But I had to let it play out because it's a decent movie. Although, because of that, I did have trouble watching, and I felt uncomfortable. And I think it does make you feel uncomfortable. And I think this is a good, decent movie. I think people have given this a bad rap, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. It is a 9.0 on IMDb, which is fairly high ratings for a film. And I think this is a more truer rating than the Rotten Tomatoes, which Rotten Tomatoes has it as 68% as a certified fresh, mind you. 68% with a 90% audience score. 
I don't know what's going on with Rotten Tomatoes and their geopolitical nonsense, but not what you're going to expect. You're going to enjoy this movie, and it's going to make you question how you see reality. Five, four, three, two, one. I kind of want to see what CinemaSins thinks here, just because I don't want an echo chamber of what I've said here from them. I want to see if I overlook something, just because. You know what I'm saying? And for those of you who have skipped ahead in the video to this point, because I know I check, uh, you want the inside of the box scores, I'm going to give it to you straight right now. TV watch, yes. DVD buy, yes. This is the first DC movie outside an animated feature that I want to buy as a DVD. Theater you watch, most definitely. You're going to want to see this twice because you're going to want to watch for those subtle cues. This movie is going to play tricks with your mind because this is one of those ones that you have to question yourself a lot it's a great movie i love it i think you should go see it and that's all i just have to say on this one and with all that said if you like what you see in here make sure you click that like button likes mean the video gets shared elsewhere and that means more youtube friends like you and that makes me happy and that's all someone like me can ask for and Remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. You know the spiel. I don't have to go down it. You comment, I write, and that's how it works. And you know I have to ask. I have an Amazon. I have a Patreon. It is not without your support that keeps this channel going. You buy the stuff that keeps the computer working, people. You don't realize how little I have to do so much. Thank you for your support so far. And thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, because it's a bit of a running joke on this channel, if you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ring a ding ding ding. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye.